Welcome to the Inspire Getting Started video series. This short series will walk you through Inspire's basic workflows as you work to sketch, analyze, and optimize a model for a bike crank, like the one shown here. This video covers Inspire's basic view controls and user interface. The most basic view controls are fairly straightforward and may feel familiar to you. Hold the middle mouse wheel and drag your mouse to rotate the view about the center of the model. Scroll with the mouse wheel to zoom the view in and out. Right-click and drag to pan the view. Many important view controls are located in this bottom left ribbon. The view cube provides a three-dimensional reference for your current viewing angle. Click on any of the cube's faces to rotate the model to the nearest orientation of that face. Click on the face again to reverse the view to the opposite face. Click on the arrows below the view cube to incrementally rotate the view. In the far left corner of the view controls ribbon is the show hide mode tool. This tool allows you to toggle the visibility of specific parts or faces of your model. Shift click on a part or face to show it. Use the drop down in the guide bar to switch between hiding faces and parts. Use the Show All or Hide All tools in the Micro dialog to quickly hide or show all faces of a part at once. You can also right-click in the Model Browser and select Hide Selected to hide sketches and parts. To the right of the Show Hide tool is the Store Recall View tool, which allows you to easily save a specific view and quickly return to it whenever necessary. Use the Change Projection tool to switch the view between perspective and orthographic projection. Perspective projection emulates realistic depth perception by making distant objects smaller and closer objects larger. Orthographic projection is useful for creating scale models with accurate measurements and proportions. The Rotate to Closest Principal Axis tool will align the camera view with the nearest X, Y, or Z axis. The Fit Selected tool rotates, pans, and zooms to fit all of the selected parts or faces in view. The final tool on the View Controls ribbon is the Section Cuts tool. Use this tool to create section cuts on your model in order to view helpful cross sections. Press the plus in the guide panel to create additional section cuts. Thank you for watching. Proceed to the next video to get started creating your own bike crank model from scratch.